Hi, this is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. Today we're using the Kajali Gel Test software. We're going to connect to a Mercury 150 Optimax. So we'll go ahead and select Outboard and we'll select Mercury. And you can see all the models listed there. We'll go ahead and select Optimax. We'll come down here to 150. Select that. Okay, and we're going to be looking up to the PCM, type PCM. We'll go into the cable connection. Um, you can see on the right hand side I've added a picture of that actual connection we did and we're using a JDC 600 plus a JDC 603M. That M cable is going to have that round connector whereas uh, you also see the JDC 213M3 plus JDC 603A. That's going to be the newer cables coming out. It's going to have that OBD uh, truck car looking connector. Those will uh, replace the M cables. They work the same way, just different look. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and connect to this engine. And that'll be the first page that pops up. We'll go ahead and read fault codes. It's going to give you a little information on uh, about the fault codes that are going to come up. Or ghost codes is what we call them. Uh, the systems aren't really in the ECM, so they're going to come up as codes, but they're not really codes at all. Okay, so you'll see those there. Well, level sensor, fuel level tank, temperature in the water, uh, trim adjustment sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll click on the oil level sensor um, and let you guys see that freeze frame. You want to select that eye. That is the freeze frame details. And we'll just scroll through that so you can see what it looks like if we were in a normal code or a actual code on this engine. Okay, I'm going to close that out, and we'll go into the system data, and that'll be your ECU information. I'm going to go ahead and scroll through that real quick so you can see that. Okay, your parameters, this is where you're going to need that expert code, so when you click on it, it's going to ask you for that expert code, mode, whatever you want to call it. It'll be a six-digit password. You can have Kajali, when you register your unit, um, send you that to your email or uh your cell phone. I'll put a sticky tab on the computer so I'll always have it. Okay, your monitoring, your live data, we'll go ahead and select all of them. You'll see those there. We have four pages at the top right. We'll go ahead and do the second page. We'll go ahead and move that throttle so you can see that. Okay, page three and page four. Okay, your system display, that's what that's going to look like. Okay, your actu actual components, that's all your tests. We'll go ahead and do the fuel injector test so you can see that. Okay, so you'll select your injector, hit the check mark. You'll hear that injector making that clicking sound. You'll know it's working. Okay, so we'll go to the air injectors, uh, direct injector, or whatever you want to call it. Same thing, select your injector, hit your check mark, and then you'll hear that injector making that clicking sound. Okay, so here's all the other tests you can see right here. System checks, you'll do that with the engine running, your maintenance, your engine break-in, your calibration, your operation data, we'll go ahead and look at the data records. This can give your faults and your activation time. And scroll through that. Okay, your trip data. We'll go ahead and look at that real quick. Your operation time is 405 hours on this engine. And then we'll go into your hours. It'll show you your engine, your RPM range, and the time on that RPM range. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close that out. And your trip data reset also has your engine operation hours. So your little icon up here, your print preview, it's your diagnostic report preview. Um, you can see our emblem up there and our address. You can put that in. Um, this system, when you're hooked up, it's going to pull everything up that you did. Your fault codes, your activations, your ECU information, everything that you looked up, it's going to pull up in there. Now you can go to the garage resource planning, the GRP, and you can calibrate that to only give you certain things in that. 
Um, that's where you also put your emblem and your address. Okay, so if you want to print it out, you got this little icon here, and you just save that as a PDF to your computer. And then when you get back to the office, or you can, you're able to hook up to a uh, printer, you can go ahead and print that out, uh, give it to the customer, save it for your own records. Okay, so this was a uh, 2006 Mercury Optimax 150 horsepower. This is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. Thanks for watching. <laughs>